New information this morning, people in Asheville using the Ramada Inn as housing will soon have to find a new place to live. This comes after the city says they will not move forward with an emergency shelter plan for that inn. Fox Carolina's Lindsay Gibbs is live out in Asheville this morning. She's explaining what's next. Lindsay? Yes, Shale, we're told right now about 80 people are living here at the Ramada Inn. We got a chance to speak with one of them this morning. He says that he was homeless for about two years, but the inn helped him get back on his feet. The city tells us they're working on finding new housing solutions for each person that lives here. They'll be allowed to stay until March. Now, this comes after Buncombe County denied the city of Asheville funding for renovations at the Ramada Inn to turn the hotel into housing with low requirements. There's been some back and forth on the use of the Ramada in. We spoke to someone staying here who says this would be an opportunity to help the people. While businesses here say they've had bad experiences with people making threats to them and their customers, even finding needles in their parking lot. Take a listen. People getting chased with knives and, you know, um, it's only so much that Asheville Police Department can do. They should just give somebody a chance and help them, teach them how to manage money, cope with mental health with drugs and stuff like that, and they won't have this problem. A man also says for some people, this is their last resort, and they don't know where to go next. The city tells us after hearing feedback from the community, they now have plans to use the space as supportive housing. This will give people access to substance use treatment and employment. It's all part of the city's initiative to get people off the streets as temperatures get lower. The city says they still plan on having a low requirement shelter just in another location in Asheville. That's yet to be determined. The city will decide what's next for the Ramada Inn on December 14th. Of course, any new updates that we find out, we'll be sure to pass along. Margaret Ann.